Hello, people in chairs. I'm Oren. Like many other students here, I got really and inexplicably into Among Us for like a month during quarantine. I don't know why, please do not ask me. Like many other students here, I spent a large chunk of the past year panicking over college admissions. And like many other students here, I have a history of chronic mental health issues. I don't know exactly when or why it started, but I remember noticing it in middle school. A certain percent of my issues are caused by brain chemistry, and I'm not in control of that. But I also just didn't have a good sense of who I was, and I was ashamed of the things I did know. My self-esteem plummeted, and I began to cling onto my peers for a sense of self, which made me hate myself for not living honestly. I hated how I was spending my time, but I convinced myself that I would be lost without these people, and it would be worse, so I was just kind of stuck. It was around this time I happened upon a short YouTube video reviewing a small indie video game called Undertale. It was blowing up at the time, due in no small part to the charming and lived-in way that the world is written. There's one part of the game that I like where you can click on a mirror only for the game to read, it's you! Because it's your, it's your reflection. No, I mean, that's it. That's the whole joke. You didn't miss anything. Um, uh, and yeah, it's stupid and simple, but it was so stupid and so simple that it made me realize that a meaningful and creative career in which I'm doing something I value was realistic for me if I held on a bit longer. If something like this can love to the extent that it did. I wanted to make something that would give reason to all the effort I was putting into getting through each day. Something wired up that I could share. When it was time to start high school, I went into things in a very dark place. I mean, in all honesty, a part of me is surprised I lasted long enough to be here today. In, in an effort to just do something, anything, I finally started learning how to draw and create when I took Art Spectrum here at Gunn. And I continued with art classes for all four years of my time here. I mean, I definitely improved. I can draw Homer Simpson like nobody's business. But technique aside, I gained something else. A personality. I learned that it was okay to like the things I liked. And I learned how to figure, what, figure out what those things are. I learned that good people will gravitate towards you if you are unabashedly yourself. I also just, you know, got professional help, which shockingly made a difference. Um, I was starting to finally become my own healthy person. But then it became 2020, and that big thing happened. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, exactly. They made another Fast and the Furious movie. I understand that the power of family and fast cars is unlike anything we mortals will ever understand, but I mean, th th there's a limit. I, I don't care. In all seriousness, I'm obviously talking about the COVID pandemic, a time span that has been immensely difficult on plenty of people, as well as the time span that has caused me to hate the word droplets with every fiber of my being. <laughs> During this time, I started to sink back into the thought patterns from when I was younger, and I could feel my desire to keep going starting to slip once again. Depression, for the uninformed and unacquainted, is a lot like the Fast and Furious movie franchise. Very little makes total sense, it's completely unnecessary, and you can try all you want, but it's never fully gonna go away. Yeah. A key difference, of course, is that The Rock is a chiseled Adonis, and I look like Caillou after puberty. <laughs> I also had a lot more free time, seeing as I didn't need to commute anywhere, so I decided to finally play that video game called Undertale I had heard of so many years ago. To clarify, I'm 17, so many years for me is like four. Um, I also had a, I, I had, I had a blast with this game, it's objectively fantastic, but there was one moment in particular that stuck out to me. Toward the end of the game, you've learned that the only way to get back home is to kill the Monster King Asgore. It's great, I don't have to do the echo. Um, um, you've been avoiding the confrontation throughout your pixelated and heartfelt quest, but this, as you've heard time and time again, is inevitable. All that stands in your way is this king. First, you need to pass through his house. Everything is in grayscale, but the layout is almost identical to that other house with the mirror from the start. You can click on this house's mirror as well, and the game says this. Despite everything, it's still you. Like many other students here, I won't be a student here in a few minutes, as weird of a sentence as that is. 
I'm almost out of time, so I'm not going to bore you with my plans for next year. I'm sure you guys already have your own things to worry about. I'm not going to stand here and publicly lambast self for anything. I already do that privately. <laughs> uh, uh, my, my journey to self-acceptance and general happiness hasn't had a satisfying conclusion. I don't think it ever will. And to write one in order to make this a more cogent speech would be dishonest of me. But what I will say is this. Despite whatever comes your way, it's still you. It's always going to be you. An earnest, intelligent, brave, resilient, sometimes obnoxious, incredible you. And you can think what you will, but I happen to think that's pretty neat. So thank you, people in chairs. I'm going to sit down now. <laughs>